Today we have three super cute styles, great for longer hair or shorter hair. We have pull through braid and we have a bubble braid and we have one more cute rope braid style. You can hear Royal in the background, little brothers playing at our feet. So before we get started, we wanted to share some of our very favorite products. We are using this detangler in this video. You'll see how awesome it is. We have used six different detanglers over the last year and this one is by far our favorite. It is also plant-based and natural-based, which is perfect because that's what I love to use on my kids. They also have the shampoo and conditioner. So if you are interested in these, yeah. just comment below and I would be happy to give you more information hey. on how you can get a discount. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also subscribe to our channel. our new favorite detangler. We have tried six over the last year and none have worked as well as this one. This one takes the cake. It's also natural and plant-based so two cheers for that. If you'd like a discount on this detangler let me know in the comments below and I can send you some information. Of course as we brush the hair we always want to make sure that we start at the ends and gently brush upwards. We're using a wet brush, which I highly recommend for fine hair. This is our first style, pull through braids. We will start with damp hair and a center part. Section off the hair and the crown section all the way back and about two inches wide. And we'll clip the other hair on the bottom out of the way. Take a one inch by two inch section and secure this with an elastic towards the outside of the section. Repeat until you have five ponytails of the same size on this right side. Take that first ponytail and split it into two. Move the second pony through the first and secure the first pony to the third pony with an elastic. Gently pancake that pony between the two elastics around the second pony. Now repeat, split that first pony into two, move the second pony through, and secure the first pony to the third pony with an elastic.
secure that last ponytail to itself. Then you'll repeat on the opposite side. The second style is a bubble braid. Start with a side part and damp hair. Add gel if needed. Part off the crown section. And clip the other part out of the way. Take a one inch section perpendicular to the part line and secure it with an elastic on one side of the section, which is opposite to the part line. So each section will be about an inch by three to four inches wide. Take another one inch section parallel to the first and secure it with an elastic, including the first ponytail. Gently pull at the pony between the two elastics to form the bubble. Repeat until you have formed about four bubbles on top.
Our last style is rope braid pigtails. Start with a center part. Take the crown section about two inches to the right Cut off a one inch section and split it in half. Take the right strand and cross over top of the left strand. Add a section of hair to the right strand and cross over the left. Again, add a section to the right strand and cross over top of the left. Continue this pattern until the desired length is reached. And I'll just apologize here, sometimes it's hard to film on a toddler. So we got out of the camera for a minute. But you just add an elastic at the very back, and then we'll repeat on the opposite side, but it's just a little bit different. So here we'll split it in two, but this time we'll cross the left strand over top of the right strand, and add to the left strand. Then cross over top of the right strand, and add to the left strand. And you repeat until you've ended at the back of the crown section. And once I've added hair, I sometimes, or finished adding hair, I sometimes twist both of the sections to the right, cross them to the left a couple of times before I add that elastic. Just helps finish it off a little bit better. Watching you next time. Bye. Bye.